you know, piggyback onto the metrics that they all deliver. You know, our localization word count um, metrics don't re aren't really meaningful. And so be curious and find out, find out what kind of metrics are being delivered across all the other teams um, and also find out what's important to the other teams and tailor your communication towards that common goal. You know, Alex mentioned earlier about speaking developer languages. Um, you have to be able to speak product management language and finance and IT um, and marketing. Um, and there's always opportunity to take these business metrics or concepts or priorities and add the international impact to it, rather than trying to come up with a way to um, affect leadership um, on your own, pay, be curious and find out what other people are doing um, and understand their motivations. So for example, one thing I've learned is the finance teams, you know, build relationships with the finance teams. They report monthly or quarterly um, on both on profit and loss. Um, so find a way to access this data um, and see if you can find a way to break it down, you know, in more than just rest of world or more than EMEA, because EMEA, you know, Europe, Middle East, Africa, there's so many differences between that and lumping that all together. Does You're not going to have very many insights. So find a way to access this data and see what you can do with it to tell your story. Um, and attend business review meetings and take a look at how they distill those revenue numbers. Um, and then marketing teams, what do they measure? Um, and can it be adapted or broken down by region? You know, marketing is talking about SEO. Are they looking at international SEO? They're looking at website traffic. Are they looking at traffic by, by country? Um, so you can try to obtain these reports and if they're not showing international, you know, work with the marketing team and see if, see if you can create um, a regional specific baseline. Um, and then same with engineering, you know, what does engineering measure and how can localization get in on that? Um, does engineering already have tools that monitor user behavior, for example? Is there a way for you to see who's, how many users are selecting different languages, for example? Um, so just be curious, you know, build relationships with all of the stakeholders, not just the ones that are sending you you know, projects to localize, but um, but other ones just to learn, get a better sense of how the business operates because every organize every organization operates differently. Um, so that's that's my suggestion.